When it comes to teacher-led instruction, we keep engagement at the forefront, providing engaging and relevant content that is reflective of the age of the student, not the reading level of the students in our classrooms. This is the Youth America Grand Prix, an annual ballet competition that can make a young dancer's career. You don't know how strong you are until you're forced to be strong. At age 28, Dudamel became the youngest ever conductor of the Los Angeles Philharmonic the rock star of classical music, Gustavo the Great, the dude. The students were attacked, and then they were arrested. She demanded an education for every child. One child. One teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. Everything in this greenhouse is designed efficiently, using the smallest amount of space to get the maximum amount of food. Plastic bags stick around in landfills, beaches, and oceans for hundreds of years, where they can end up trapping, choking, or poisoning wild animals. Many scientists worry that even small concussions can have large effects in brains that are still developing. With the right mindset, with effort, focus, and perseverance, you can always improve. Read 180 resources are designed to meet the needs of a full range of readers. Whether students are new to English, need foundational skills development, or struggle with comprehension, Read 180 resources are designed to specifically address their unique needs. Read 180 teaching resources provide practical, structured, daily lessons, while student resources encourage students to engage actively with the text. For students who need foundational skills development, use the Real Book Code, Teaching Guide, and Student Editions Books 1 through 4 and Letter Tiles. For students who need comprehension skills development, use the Read 180 Real Book Workshop Teacher's Guide and Student Editions. Each stage has 12 individual workshops, and they come bundled in sets of three. You will also have access to all four of the code books. Our Getting Started Workshop is a great way to start the year by helping students cultivate a growth mindset, build your classroom community, and practice essential procedures and routines for a successful start. The workshop timeline allows for establishing community and building trust and relationships with students prior to the growth measure testing. Initial lessons are designed as whole group only before preparing students to rotate in small groups. Mindset is intentionally introduced and central to establishing a productive learning environment. Our partnership with Mindset Works allows for growth mindset to be embedded across all three instructional rotations. During the first weeks of Read 180, teachers and students will begin to build their academic community with a Getting Started workshop. In these lessons, students will investigate what it means to have a growth mindset and experience how the brain changes with learning in an anchor video. They set goals for the school year and beyond and learn about other Read 180 students that struggled academically but continued to work hard with effort and focus until they were able to achieve their goals. For students developing foundational skills, the Real Book Code provides comprehensive and systematic instruction for phonemic awareness, phonics, and morphology. Each book helps students develop automaticity in decoding and word recognition skills. In our consumable code books, the scope and sequence of lessons aligns to the instructional sequence in the student application so that whole group and small group learning can target student needs. The teaching guide lessons were designed to support every teacher, even those of us who don't have a background with teaching foundational skills. 
explicit instructions are given, along with plenty of examples, resources, and instructional routines. The bulk of instruction in each code book contains explicit instruction from the foundational skills scope and sequence and can be aligned to what students are working on in the software application. The lessons provide students with the opportunity to crack the code and apply the code. This is an example of an apply the code lesson with a focus on digraph SH. Students get opportunities to crack the code with a focus on recognizing and using compound words and get a chance to make meaning as they read decodable text matching again the segments they are working on in the student application. And progress monitoring tests are available to monitor student growth at the end of each codebook. Once foundational skills have been mastered, students will move into the Read 180 workshop content. Content is differentiated by grade level band to make sure students receive relevant, engaging, and respectful content. Teacher-led instruction builds vocabulary and close reading skills in workshops using texts that increase in complexity. In this example from Stage C for High School, Workshop 1 begins with a focus question. Each workshop consists of two parts, and texts will increase in complexity until we reach our final text, which will be the closest to an on-grade level text. Each workshop is available digitally, as well as single workshop consumable versions. In this text, or what we call our fluency text, is going to be the most accessible to all students in my classroom. I will see that we will be implementing vocabulary strategies as well as close reading in each one of the texts that I'll work with within this workshop. Our teacher's guide sets up literacy and language goals, provides step-by-step -step instructions while we build vocabulary and close reading skills. Finally, formative assessment checks are there to monitor progress on our goals. Research tells us that our struggling readers are typically struggling writers as well. So at the end of part one, we'll stop and work on writing a strong paragraph. And at the end of the workshop, we'll work step-by-step -step through the writing process, including student sample writing, graphic organizers, and the same mnemonic devices students are seeing in the student application. Finally, each workshop ends with a career-focused project. It's a great way to make relevant connections to the text we've been reading, and it exposes students to different careers they may not have previously considered. Each workshop also includes print and digital interim and end of workshop assessments. Here, students will apply what they've been learning to brand new texts. And if you have students learning English for the first time, Read 180 has content to support your newcomers. Language Launch provides daily small group lessons for newcomer students who are at the early stages of English language proficiency. Language Launch consists of teacher-led digital lessons designed to teach the social, instructional, and content area language that students need as they learn English for the first time. Relevant and engaging lessons focus on critical language functions, features, and vocabulary that are reinforced through the four domains, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. The teachers guide students through a routine to learn key vocabulary. Students say the words, see a visual example, read the word in context, and then write the words. Students can also write a translation in their home language to make other connections to help cement their learning. Let's take a look at the four domains in action in Unit 1, Lesson 2, Meet and Greet. In this lesson, students learn the language for greeting someone new and introducing themselves, beginning with explicit instruction on the language target. In speaking and listening after the teacher's explicit instruction, students actively listen to an audio clip of a conversation. In this lesson, they hear two students meeting and greeting each other. Then they practice speaking with a partner using the language target and scaffolded frames. For reading and writing, teachers then engage students in multiple guided reads of an accessible text using the images to make connections and support students in reading and responding to text-based questions. Following the reading, students complete two writing tasks, one to practice writing at the sentence level and another to put it all together by writing a note to their teacher introducing themselves. Writing tasks are supported with scaffolded sentence frames and a word bank. 
Each lesson concludes with a formative assessment opportunity, which helps students reflect on their learning by responding orally to a prompt. Teachers are provided support at point of use by opening the teacher notes. The notes provide detailed information on executing the instructional routines, modeling language for guiding students in developing new language, and the differentiation suggestions. Assessments for language launch are also available digitally to monitor growth on the English language acquisition. Data for all digital assessments will flow into ED, making it easy to track student growth. For our next steps here, we're going to explore the Read 180 content online, finding the code, workshop content, and assessment, as well as locating and exploring language launch. To access my teaching resources for Read 180, I'll begin by heading to the Discover tab. Here, I can use the Select a Program dropdown on the left-hand corner to change the stage or go to Language Launch. We're going to begin in stage C for high school, but if you are working with stage B for middle school or stage A for upper elementary, know that they all work and are organized in the exact same fashion. Right now, I am previewing my content by those comprehension workshop materials. I can see the different workshops that I have available to me. And as I select a workshop below, I'll be able to open up the digital teaching guide or the digital real book. I will also see the lessons that will make up this particular workshop. And if I want to preview the resources for a lesson, I can simply click on that open lesson icon, and then I will see the resources that I might need to teach this lesson seven on informative paragraphs. If I'm having students use the student real book in its digital format, I will find that it is a page for page representation of what they may have in print. I can use my table of contents button on the left hand side to navigate or simply turn the page. Here we can see the digital version of the article we just saw. And as students are interacting digitally, they can click and drag their cursor to highlight that text answer questions in the margin, and anything students are doing digitally, I can access via my T review button. This allows me to select a class, select a student, and then if Jenna had made annotations on this page, they would show up in this space. I can access the teaching guide in the same manner by clicking on this teaching guide button I have digital access to my print teaching guide resources. For the code content, I'm going to head on the left hand side and browse to my all resources button. Here I will see much more broken down into smaller pieces. For example, if I want to look at the resources for that real book code 2, for foundational skills, when I open that button, I will see the teaching guide and the student edition in its full version, as well as broken down into specific locations if I want to assign this from a digital perspective. When I open up the instructional overview for the teaching guide, this is where I'm going to see all of the instruction that I need as that teacher to run this foundational skills lesson. Maybe I need to take a look at some instructional routines. I want to access the video that students will be using or help myself prepare for a specific lesson. Notice my multilingual learner support as we look at those similarities and differences between their primary language and English. I will be able to see what students are working on within that student application. And then again, a very supportive lesson plan to help me deliver that foundational skills support. Back under my all resources tab, I will also find resources for assessment in its own bucket. I can use my filters to determine what assessment it is that I want to look at. And I can choose 
an online version or a PDF version. For language launch, I select my program and you'll see it's organized identically to what we saw within Read 180. I will see my six units of instruction. I will see my teaching guide as well as that student resource and then all of the lessons that follow. Similarly, I can go to that all resources bucket to find more information and resources as well as my assessment options.